Welcome to Cyber Stock Room. Using a map is a powerful and easy way to manage your inventory products. In this video, I will show you how to modify your map to fit your business, input your inventory products, and update your product levels as you check items in and out. Part 1 The Map We already created a basic map for you, but you can change it in any way you like. You see how the demo location is green? That means there's products in it. We created those demo products for you to experiment with. If you hover over it, you can click the View icon to see these products. You can also edit the location or delete it. Let's create a new location on the map. There are nine types of locations that you can add. We'll pick a warehouse. Now you just have to name it. There it is. You can now start adding sublocations by clicking the plus icon that appears below the warehouse. Let's put in a main floor. And a basement. You can add as many locations and sublocations as you like. This way the map will look exactly like your business. So what's the point of all these locations? Well, now you can start moving your products around. For example, let's transfer some of the demo products to the basement. You just drag and drop on the map. Easy, right? Just select the products you want to transfer and drag them as a whole, or click to select them one by one. There, the products have been transferred. You can also check products in or out of any of these locations. I'll show you how in part 3. Part 2. Creating products The products page lists all the items that exist in your inventory. Right now it's just the demo products that we added for you. There's a location selector in the top right. At the moment it says all locations. That means that the quantity listed for each item is the sum total across your locations. But you can drill down to any specific location. Let's select the basement of the warehouse that we just created. You are now looking at the products only in that location. If the location doesn't contain a certain product, it will still be listed, but it will show up faded and with a quantity of zero. Let's create a new product. Click on the plus icon in the top left. If you use product numbers in your business, you can enter them here. Otherwise, you can select Auto and they will be generated for you. Let's add three test products. It's not necessary to fill in all the fields. Just enter the details and press Enter and the product will be listed on the right. If you have a lot of products, it's best to import them from a file. When you're done, click Save. The products are now listed in your inventory. You can update any of these products by clicking on it. Let's click on the first one. On the left, you will see the product's details which you can edit at any time. On the right, you will see your map. The location that we were just viewing is highlighted. In this case, it's the basement of the warehouse. We can change the quantity of this product in that location. Let's make it 10 by typing the quantity and pressing Enter. We can also update the quantity in any of the other locations. When we close the editor, we will see the quantity updated for this location. Clicking on a product is an excellent way to see its quantity levels spread out across the map. Part 3. Checking products in and out of locations. In Part 1, I showed you how to create a map. In Part 2, I showed you how to create products. In this part, I will show you how to start moving your products in and out of these locations as you conduct your business. For most of these transactions, the best place to go is the Start page. When you receive or buy products, or if you've just created them, 
the first thing you have to do is check them in to a location. This will tell Cyber Stockroom where your products are stored or displayed. When you click the check-in icon, you'll see all your inventory products listed. You can quickly filter them by typing a keyword in the search box. Click on a product to select it and type in the quantity that you are checking in. You will then be asked to select a check-in location. It's a good idea to leave a comment after each important transaction so you can retrace your steps later. When you sell or remove products from your locations, you need to check them out. It's exactly the same steps as before except now you click Check Out instead of Check In. To move products between locations, you can use the map to drag and drop like we saw in Part 1 or you can click the transfer button on the start page. In this case, you have to select a source location and the destination location for the transfer. To quickly find things in Cyber Stockroom, the bar in the top left allows you to search for any product or location. If you enter a partial keyword in the search box and press enter, the results will be displayed in the Products page. If you need any assistance or have any questions, you can search the Help articles in our Knowledge Base at any time or start a live chat with a support representative.